Good evening, everyone. Today is Thursday, September 16, 2021. Suffer day eight. September 16, 2021. I'm just setting up doing the vlog from yesterday's bedtime and watching this video. If you actually vlog starting me up, please be sure to go check it out. Don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. My knee hurts. It's my left knee. Okay. Ow, 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 ow. Okay, so today was Thursday. I didn't really have anything to do. So I was just completing up my lab assessment, number 39, part A. Just stuff that's going to be due tomorrow, actually. I was just kind of like... Um, getting prepared. Um, for for tomorrow, and so I have like, you know, like, just that one assignment left. Um, literally, that's due by tomorrow for um, human A and P lab two. Um, out of one, two, three, four, five, six seven assignments that were due for that class on tomorrow um so got all that stuff done just got one more thing to do um and i think it comes with a few questions i want to see what the questions are la 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 oops what did i do oh no not another window <sighs> and um yeah so it comes with um like five questions so i'm just like working on the it's like a worksheet that's due for this particular assignment the assessment exercise 39 um it's like the first question on there but there's like four other questions and i don't know if there's like anything else like other worksheets that i would do for this particular assignment um but yeah i was just like doing this right now hold on i'll show you guys so this is um, endocrine structure and function. Um, so I had to draw um, like cells basically. So pituitary gland, well I had to draw like whatever is told me to do in a certain magnification and like all of the um, components of that um, like particular gland I guess you yeah. so you can see it these are my drawings you guys look I'm an artist um but yeah so pituitary gland and hypothalamus put all the labels pituitary gland 400x anterior lobe um if you can even see my mouse <laughs> and then pituitary gland posterior lobe 400x th thyroid gland 400x and then here parathyroid gland 65x and then adrenal gland cortex and medulla 75x with all of their particular components right um this actually i got out of the book like literally um straight out of the book like it gives me the book actually literally gives me exactly what this uh, particular assignment is looking for um, in order that it's looking for it in. So it works out really, really well. Um, it's pretty much the most convenient. It, convenient, um, like, homework assignment. Anyway, so I still got the pancreas left to do, I got an ovary, and I got testes left to do. And I think I got one more that goes here, but I think it's going to be whatever um, happens next in the book. So I've just reached to the micrograph of the adrenal cortex and the adrenal medulla. So, yeah, I got all this to do. I just got home like a little while ago and I started working from this one here. And then I did two more, so I did three. So it really shouldn't take that long. I think I got home around... 9 30 or something like that i really can't remember what time it was um so yeah and for most of the day like i let's see what did i do today oh i was like super sleepy anyways i didn't have like i have my mom my 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 mom's um 
sister-in-law basically she's here right um so she's here and so basically like she, like you know i like like pakistani food like i like to be able to eat at home like um home cooked food and stuff and so my mom's not here so she is doing that for me i guess um so i drove over there um let's see i'm trying to think around 11 right because like as soon as i got up it was like 11 well obviously i was awake way before that i didn't wake up right at 11 i think i woke up at 6 actually but like um i don't know i don't remember exactly like what happened i think i woke up at 11 and then um no I don't know. I really don't remember. Um, but whatever. I think I woke up at 11 and as soon as I got up, I took my medicine and I just went over to their house and like ate breakfast over there. So I had um, a bunch of toast. Like, I don't even know. It's my, my cousin's wife. So like, this is the type of food that she likes to eat or like what they ate basically growing up at their house. And it's just like, literally like a third of a loaf of bread um toasted um so i would say like maybe i don't even know like seven or eight pieces of toast toasted and with one fried egg and then a little bit of leftover egg from somebody else's food my her daughter's i guess food my cousin's daughter her leftover eggs and it, it was like an omelet with like shallots and i think black pepper like crushed black um pepper in it and um yeah so i mean that was delicious and then like right after that of course i got really really sleepy i didn't really have a whole lot of other stuff planned but i was like still over there and i was just like well all right, I'm going to take off. I'm going to go back home. And I'm going to go to sleep. I'm so, so sleepy. Um, like, because last night I really didn't sleep much. I was over at their house the day before that. And I drank some tea. And I didn't get any sleep. Like, um, so I was just, like, super, super tired. Um, and then I had to, like, wake up the next day. And then, like, go to classes. So um, I didn't go over to their house yesterday. Because I had classes until 5 o'clock. And then I had to like sort through all of the stuff that I have to do so for school. So I like stayed home basically. And then like my aunt, she made um, pumpkin. It's sort of like a pumpkin like pie without the crust. It's just um, um, sort of, but it, minus like all the cream and everything like that, like all the extra stuff. It's just like the pulp of it and she just like sort of cooked it and um with like sugar and just sort of brine browned it a little bit with sugar and um it's just super super delicious it's called halwa um it's a muslim thing and then it um uh what do you call it so yeah It's just got like some sugar so it's a dessert basically so they made that yesterday and my aunt was like i had to cut those pumpkins all by myself i was like you weren't supposed to i'm sorry i was i i couldn't come over yesterday because i had like i have like a lot of stuff to do with my classes and everything so i didn't come and i was gonna cut those pumpkins for you i mean she's like she's an older woman you know and like i i just don't like feel like having making her do anything basically so i was gonna do that for her and then i couldn't go so she ended up doing it herself and i was like oh no you weren't supposed to do that so she like um like yeah so she had to like cut it open and everything and like she didn't know how to do it and she had to do both of them and it was just like i was like oh no um you weren't supposed to do that i was gonna do that and then we were gonna cook it together um anyways so i um i went over there today and i had some of that it was totally totally fun and then um i made some chicken tenders because i had 
that packet of chicken tenders sitting, the halal chicken tenders sitting in my freezer for um, a, a really long time and I hadn't like cooked it, you know? And like I, I really wasn't able to find any time to cook it so I decided to just take it over there and just make it over there and then like just leave it there. Um, and then, you know, whenever I go over there I'll just like snack on it basically. So, um, I had to like unthaw the chicken tenders and then, um, I used two eggs, um, milk and just kind of whisked the, whisk, whisked it up a little bit. And then I, um, so I dipped the chicken tenders into, into the, the little mix of egg and milk and then soaked them and then put them into, um, like flour and mixed with uh, ground black pepper because it's like the only spice that I really really even prefer to use when I'm making chicken tenders and then dipped it into the flour and like covered it in flour and then dipped it into the egg and milk mixture again and then dip it back into the flour so I did that twice and then I put it into the frying pan and then I did like three at a time in the frying pan with like cooking oil um, so that I wouldn't like burn the oil or the frying pan and stuff obviously so I would like take them off uh, once like I had cooked three um, on both sides like pretty well and then took them off and put them into like this uh, plastic Tupperware that contained um, paper towels put them in there and then just like once they were done cooking and everything and then turn off the flame and then put more um, so did repeated the process again and put more in there. So I put three more in there um, on both sides, cooked them and then put them into my Tupperware container. And then I had like four more. So it was like, it was like three rounds of three and four and then took them off and they came out really, really good. Actually, they came out really good. Like everybody liked them and everybody ate them and everything um, with ketchup. Cause like my aunt was like, well, I really wish you would have put salt at least into the flour like the shake or whatever and I was like well actually I think if you're gonna use like any kind of sauce you have to balance you know like life is all about balance so you have to like <clears throat> you have to like consider that like like every single thing that you put into your body so like if you're not going to use ketchup like at all like you're 100% sure that you do not have ketchup at your house I can see why you would have to absolutely have to like sprinkle some salt into you, your mixture but like we have ketchup at our house I know that so I know that I'm going to be using ketchup so I didn't put any salt and that's what I told her I was like well if you use ketchup with it it's going to taste absolutely perfect and you're going to love it and she was like, yeah. So she ended up using the ketchup and she totally agreed with me. And it came out really, really good to her. Like she really liked it. Um, and then everybody else liked it. I liked it. So anyways, um, so I was doing that this afternoon. So I came back home like after eating breakfast, like after like a half an hour, I literally just ate breakfast and came home. And then I went to bed and then like around five o'clock I went back over to their house and made the chicken tenders and I had like dinner. So we had like ground beef and potatoes um, that my aunt made. So um, I had that with like two round breads and some water and I had like a couple of seven ups over there. And now, and then like around, I think 9.30 or so, like I was on the phone with my mom um, who's in Pakistan right now. And my aunt was also talking to her um, who's also in, well, um, to my mom and for like a really long time, obviously, cause like they both like, they're like, you know, they always have to talk to one another. Like they're, they're super old and like, they're both like almost the same age and everything. And like, you know, they're just like kind of, kind of friends cause they're sister in law. Right. So yeah. So they always, always, uh, keep in touch. They always communicate anyway. Um, so she, they were on the phone with each other for like a really long time and then um, I just like talked to her for a little bit, like talked to my mom, told her like how I was doing, what I ate and what I had been doing all day and like everything that I went down, just like I'm telling you guys. And um, yeah, and then 
I was like, I'm about to leave. So they continued. So then, anyways, I gave the phone back to my aunt. They talked for a little bit longer. And then, um, then, like, I think I was, like, I was getting sleepy, like, just sitting there, you know? Because I already ate and everything, and I was just, like, I'm just, yeah. So, and then, like, um, whenever they got off the phone, like, um, I got off the phone with my mom. I was, like, yeah, I'm going to leave in a little bit. She's, like, okay, just, yeah, just go home. It's getting late. It was getting late. Like, it's 9 o'clock, you know, so it's getting dark out and everything. Um, so I just wanted to, like, be home, like, in a timely, you know, manner and stuff. So I come home, and, um, yeah, so I came home, and I needed to take my medicine, so I took my medicine, and then basically, like, I wasn't sleepy at all, right? Like, I just kind of, like, stayed awake through all the sleep, and, um, like, kind of just made myself, like, stay awake through it. And then got home and then just continued, like, I, my desktop looked exactly like this, um, when I came home, like, exactly the way I left it. So I just, like, picked up exactly where I left off and then, like, just started working, um, on the slides and everything. And now it's, like, 11.44, so I just, like, wanted to blog and stuff and then... Um, anyway, Teddy Bear's asleep. I made a, a cat, there's like a cat outside, and he meows, like it's such a weird, like desperate sounding meow, but I figured out, like, it was happening, I think, in the morning or something, and I didn't really respond to it, or I think it was happening last night, and I didn't respond to it, and then, like, I went downstairs this morning to go check out like where the meows were coming from and I wanted to go see if I could help the cat and I think it actually belongs to somebody so I was like okay thank god I don't have to like intervene <laughs> um this is the current state of my cat <laughs> Teddy Teddy he's totally asleep I don't want to wake him up and it's 11:45, so and then it's thursday so i don't know if i'm gonna have to work tomorrow yet i think i'll probably they'll they might call me in to come in to work if they don't um i'm gonna be like stuck at home for sure let's see so i have an exam coming up on sunday right and then i have to do like a practice exam also and then i have um, several assignments to do for um, A&P 1, um, 4 for her, and then a practice exam and a quiz for nutrition, 12-16. Um, so I'm going to be doing that all day. Um, or if I don't have to uh, work, I'll be doing that, and then like um, I'll be here at home. If I have to work, I'll go to work and then come ha come home and do this. Um, but if I don't, then I'll be doing this and I'll just be like, just, I don't know, studying basically. Um, and well, on Saturday I have like four assignments to do for um, human anatomy and physiology too. I have four things that I have to kind of like submit and do. Um, so I'll probably get cracking on that um, as well if I have that much free time and then study whenever I don't have anything else to do. And then um, probably going to sit for like a few hours, like four or five hours to just sit and study um, for the upcoming exam to make sure that I cover like enough ground um, and like answer all like the review questions and the study guide questions um, and like you know, answer all those questions and then I'll like also read the book again, you know, um, and like study the pogles and stuff. Um, so yeah, that's, that's what my weekends look like at this point in time. Um, yeah. At least for tomorrow which is going to be Friday and then and Saturday as well 
so both of those days and then Sunday I just have to have um, this quiz this exam done so uh, I'll be doing that all day um, it's exam one chapters 18 to 20 so it's three chapters um, and by the time that like the actual exam like does roll around I should have like a reasonable amount of information like knowledge on the t on the topic like on the subjects um that I shouldn't like need to like need to be cramming or anything in the last minute um given like all of my like studying and pr preparation that I did um so yeah like during the exam like I shouldn't be worried about any question that I should have um, at all um, and I definitely shouldn't be worried about the time so I can't really like sit on a question for like a very long time and not answer it you know because um, you're given like 60 minutes or 90 minutes and that's plenty of time to be able to go through each question and like look at it and like be sure that you know the answer so that's about it like you can't you know there's really no time to wait if you have to wait that means that you're under prepared so yeah just have to knock that out on sunday um and i don't know what else i'm gonna do right now i had like i think i had a couple of chicken tenders i think i had like one and a half chicken tenders um without ketchup actually i don't know if i ate it with ketchup um i don't remember but yeah um i didn't bring any home with me and then um i think my my cousin's wife um she had um her name's aram she had um a friend come over and they brought over cheesecake so i had like a bite of that i kind of hate dairy right now so I kind of literally regret it, but anyway, um, even though I eat mac and cheese all day, but I think my stomach is actually used to eat, eating like Sofer's mac and cheese like all the time. It's just like some of the, some stuff, like I literally don't take food from people. Um, yeah, <laughs> so that's how bad it is. Um, anyway, so I'm gonna close the vlog. Please don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. And I will talk to you guys on the next vlog.